Have you ever been triggered by something and then acted in a way that you wish you wouldn't have after the fact and then ended up just kind of perpetually feeling like shit about it? If so, I got the solution to feeling like that so you never have to feel that way again, but you have to watch this video. So story time, I was just driving around and I parked downtown and I ended up parking in front of this table where these people were eating and um, my car is a little bit loud at idle, not too bad, right? And I'm just kind of chilling there, um, waiting for something to do. And uh, <laughs> this old lady, um, it was a nice, you know, family, whatever, husband, wife, couple kids, and like somebody's grandma. And um, the grandma gets up and asks me, can you just shut it off? It's just loud and, um, and I can just feel the heat coming off your car. <laughs> and you know, in my mind, I'm like, all right, First of all, it's Florida. You're sitting outside. It's 85 degrees and muggy. And second of all, you're sitting outside on a downtown street. It's going to be loud. <laughs> right? And um, what I should have done is stand in my power. I should have said, no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. I'm parked here. And there's a ton of other cars parked here as well. And no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to leave. And left it at that. What they do is is up to them. You know, they... I was going to suggest, you know, go inside. If you don't like the noise, you can go inside. But really, that's not my place. It's not my place to take their inventory. It's not my place to um, get into their vibration. You know, it's my place to stand in my power and know my rights. And to, while taking them into consideration, I wasn't doing anything wrong. And so I should have said, no, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that. And just left it at that. <laughs> but what I did was I said yeah i'll leave but then like passive aggressively after i left and i was pulling out i like revved my car really loud <laughs> which you know it's not really that bad it's like a douchebag move but like just passive aggressive and i wish after i was driving away i was like dude you know what? i should have just stood in my power and just said no very mellow like and detached like you know not not reactive just responsive and just said no i'm sorry i'm not gonna do that although i know what i would do next time I don't need to sit here and feel bad about it because why? Because, okay, for one, what happens when we feel bad about things that happened and we, we, we just perpetuate that feeling. It just ends up being a vibration of lack, a vibration of we're not good enough, a vibration of we're defective. There's something wrong with me. Why would I do such a thing? It separates us from my, our fellow human beings and it puts it, puts us into this state of awkwardness and what I choose to do in these situations where I fuck up or I do something that I wish I would have done different is I love myself. I love myself even more because, you know, if would you do would you put your put a friend down if they made a mistake and they're like, oh, dang it, bummer. You know, I wish I did something different. You wouldn't say, yeah, you fucking idiot. You should have did something. No, you would be like, oh, dude, it's all good, bro. You know, you know what you can do next time. And now we're sitting here having this conversation, you know, whether it's your bro, your girlfriend, your significant other, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, you wouldn't put them down. I mean, maybe you would, but you shouldn't, you know, unless they really deserve it, I guess, but not in this situation, you know, you'd be there to support them. And in the same way, you got to treat yourself like your best friend. Because we have this tendency to be such harsh critics of, of ourselves. And the fact and reality is we're on this 3D planet. This the, the air is dense here. There's a lot of people, you know, that just don't see eye to eye on certain things. And for one, we just like to put ourselves down. And that just puts us into a low vibrational state of frequency. And, um, and that can perpetuate. And what I choose to do instead is love myself even more in spite of that. I love myself in spite of my defects. And you wanna know the magic thing that happens when you do this. The magic things that happen when you do this instead of feeling like there's something wrong with me, this and that, you end up seeing things from a higher vantage point because you welcome in love frequency rather than lack, deficiency, there's something wrong with me. You welcome in that love, that higher frequency, that higher vantage point. You welcome in source energy and it allows you to see things from a different way. And what ultimately ends up happening is you're so much less likely to repeat that action because you just don't care anymore. You're like, yeah, well, I fucked up, whatever. It's all good. You know, I love myself. And, you know, like I was explaining earlier, you could see what you wish you would have did differently. And you can do, it's much easier to do at that time. So it's a, it's all about having a, a love frequency, a relaxed, 
um, non-attached energy to any specific outcome and just being okay with being human while also still kind of like channeling your higher self and, you know, bringing that in. So I hope this video has helped to explain um, some of the energy dynamics and different mindsets that it comes to when you've been triggered and you wish you, you reacted in some way and you wish you would have responded differently. So love yourself instead of putting yourself down, instead of thinking you're defective, because I don't care how much you try to work on yourself. If you're coming at it from a state of lack, if you're coming at it from a state of there's something wrong with me, there's always going to be something wrong with you. But if you show yourself love and realize that, hey, I'm human and I am a man magical, wonderful human being despite of these perceived defects, then those defects will just disappear because you're not paying attention to them basically, right? So I hope this video has helped. I love you guys. I'll check you on the next one. Peace.